Hello friends, welcome to the New Tech Navigators. In this video, you will learn how to create a project management checklist in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this project management checklist. On the top, we are showing the total task which has to be completed. Then we are showing how many tasks has been completed and these are pending tasks. We are showing this completion percentage on this progress bar. Then here we have the list of checklist items. This is the description and here we have the responsible person or team's name. You can change this from this drop down. Here we have the deadline date. You can change the date using the calendar. Just double click to change the date. You can input your remarks here. Once this is completed, you can mark it as checked. As you marked it checked, the top stats will be changed and the progress bar also will be changed. You can see or if you uncheck, then you can see it is getting changed. You can add here the new checklist item also. Let's say I'm adding here new task. As I enter new task, automatically it will take the serial number and it will show this checkbox also. You can input the description. Let's say I'm putting here test description and just select the name of the person, responsible person and double click to select the date and you can put the remarks also. On the top, it will take the total task automatically will be increased. And if you mark this completed completion percentage and the completed task and the pending count will be changed automatically as you change the checklist value. How we can create this in Google Sheets. So let me add a new worksheet here and I will show you how you can create this on this worksheet. First, we will take this header like we have taken here. So let's select the range from A1 till column J till here use merge cells and make this bigger just take here some darker color so let's say i'm taking this color font take white and you can take the area rounded empty bold size take around 30 and you can put here project management checklist Let's take size around 25 rather than 30 and align this center and middle. Let's go to the view. So uncheck the grid lines from here. Now we will create these top sections. So on column B, we will create the total task. So we will select the column B, this one, and just take here some different color. Let's say I'm taking this color and here just select this range till here and use merge cells and then fill here light color of the same format and increase the column width slightly and the row height also now you can select these two and you can take here white border let's take the border color white color slightly thick all borders okay and if you want to fill some color then you can fill that color also and here you can put total task Align this center and middle and take the white font color. Here we will use the formula. So I will show you how you can use the formula. But before that, let me change the font name. If I input here, let's say 20. So it should be aligned center and middle and size take around 50. Okay, now we can make the copy of this and let's paste this here, then paste this here. This will be completed. And I'm putting some dummy value for now. I will put the formula later on and here just change the pending. You can change the color. Let's say here I'm taking this green color and this background also green and font take the same color this one and here also take the font color this one and here we can take the font color. Let's say this red one and the background I'm taking this red and here take this red all right now let's increase the column bit slightly and here also now here we can show the completion percentage like we have displayed here on i and j so just merge cells and just show the completion percentage so you can copy this and paste this here and you can choose some dark color let's say this one this is not completed this is completion percentage 
we can put the formula here so select these two also and use the formula completion percentage will be completed divided by total task and just enter and the pending will be total task minus completed okay so this is showing the one we can convert this to the percentage and G without decimal align this center and middle here we can use the spark line so select this and merge cells and use the spark line here spark line formula and select this cell then we will use the spark line let's click on this question mark to show you the how we can use and here we can use this formula so just copy this and we can paste this here in place of 50 we can take one and enter so this is showing the 100% if completion is let's say 15 then it will show the 75 only we can change the color here just put the comma and then in the let's put the semicolon here and here it should be comma okay so we can see this is green color you can choose any other color also from here you can add the custom color you can add the custom color using this plus button and you can decide which color you want let's say i want to take this color then you can co copy this hex code okay and here you can paste that hex code also in place of green so it is taking same color now let's give some outline also for the same color for this one gives all outline okay and let's make it this outline okay now we will create this table also so just select this table header and we can paste that table header here you can see we have merged these two and here also these three okay we can copy this data also just copy this and let's paste this data as value i will show you how we can apply the formatting here we can see this is not uh, properly merged so we can select this range till the end and go to the merge and merge horizontally now here we can merge horizontally these three also use merge horizontally all right now we can select this whole range till here till the end align this center and middle now take the size of the font around it and we will apply some light color border also so take this color and take thickness this one and all borders okay so border is applied now here we can put the formula and we will put the sequence function so just use the sequence and then we can use the count a and we can select this data range till the end and just close the bracket hit the enter so automatically it will take if i remove then it will not show now you can adjust the remarks also so just make this column slightly smaller this one and this one also this one also here take the light color this is much take this one now here we can create the list just right click and go to the drop down for the responsible person name take the drop down from a range and just click here click we have created a list sheet so you can take the name from here and you can add your more names just click on ok here you can see it is taking the name if you want to change this let's say i want to show only arrow you can show the arrow also done now let me close this here we can create the calendar so just select till the end right click go to the drop down and take here is valid date done so if i click it will open that calendar also now in the status we will insert a checkbox so just select till the end select this go to the insert and insert the checkbox so we can see the checkbox till the end now we can apply the conditional formatting so the conditional formatting is if we check this then this will be checked okay so let's select this range till the end and then go to the fill and condition formatting and here we can apply the condition formatting for the column j so let's use here is custom formula custom formula is and just use j and let's see from where we are taking the first row it is from the row number 10 so let's use j 10 
and the column should be free so just put here dollar if j10 is true then we will apply it we will make it bold the font we will make uh, green color let's say this one and uh, background we will take none and just done so if i click on this then you can see it is in green color okay the second one condition we will apply if nothing is here then this checkbox should not be visible so how we can do that just select this range again so we can say if column b okay so let's take b10 add another rule and use the formula equal to b10 and just put the dollar if v10 is equal to blank in that case we will take the font color white or take none let's take white okay and say done uh, and, and don't take the background color just say none and say done so the font color is white that means this is not appearing it is available there but it is not appearing okay now as i type anything here it will appear automatically now let's use the formula here the total task we will use count a and then select this range till the end and just enter so this is total task the completion task we will use the count ifs count ifs the first criteria we will select this range should not be comma should not be blank comma the another criteria we will put this range should be true that means it should be checked so just use here true and okay so we have applied this formula now pending is coming automatically and this is also if i check this then you can see everything is getting changed so that is how we have created this project management checklist in google sheets friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching